So, the Yankees are on a two-game winning streak. I know it's early in the season. It's only the second week of the season, but this team looks like a completely different team than last week so far, which is a good sign. I know they're slow starters, and it took them a while to kind of get their footing, and we have guys coming back and guys being optioned and stuff like that. And So there's a lot of moving parts last week, and Yankees just didn't, they didn't look like they were in sync last week, but um, this is a great start of the week today. Garrett Cole threw six innings and about 96 pitches. Um, he was he was solid again, not as dominant as he was last time against Baltimore, but it was hard. To, that's hard to top anyway. But two six innings, gave up one earned run, had eight strikeouts, uh, and he gave up three hits. So very solid performance. And then right behind him, we had Justin Wilson, scoreless inning. Darren O'Day, scoreless inning, and Aroldis Chapman, uh, Chapman, another dominant scoreless inning to close it out. And uh, he, his heaters up there, 101, 102. He's got a nasty splitter now. He's got some really good off-speed pitches. And he looks like a completely different pitcher, a completely different closer than he did last year. I remember last year and even the year before, <clears throat> it was reminiscent, in my opinion, of John Wetland. I used to always get high blood pressure watching John Wetland close games because the Yankees could be up by three. He'd come in, he'd give up two runs, then load the bases, and then get the glass guy out. And it's like, oh, my God. I mean, <clears throat> like I was stressed all the time watching Wetland. That's where it was. Uh, for Chapman last year in this year, but he, he seems to be have much more command this year, much more, much better composure, much more confidence, and um, you know he looks like a, a different closer to me, and I hope he remains that way. So, you know, and and once Zach Britton comes back, you know the Yankees will really really have a complete bullpen. But it was nice to see Justin Wilson back throwing a good inning, and they give him another moving piece in that bullpen. So, um, and you know in terms of the offense. On the Yankee side, I mean, aside from the base hit from uh, Rubin Odor, it was the Kyle Higashioka show. Two home runs accounted for all three runs. They had a two-run shot, and then he came back with a solo shot. It's all three RBIs for the Yankees, and it was a good battery made for Cole tonight. And, you know, Cole had a couple of, uh, not necessarily rough innings, but innings they had to work a little work a little harder through. Because normally he'll throw, you know, 96 pitches through seven, but he threw it through six today, but... Another workman-like performance, and uh, he's he's gone to two and zero. He's got a one point five zero ERA. So, you know, typical Garrett Cole. So, uh, and I, you know, I'm ex I don't I don't see any kind of regression from him anytime soon. So, um, and I'm really happy that we we have him on the team. Tomorrow we got Jamison Tyon, and then uh, and in the third game we've got Corey Kluber going. So tomorrow it's Tyon versus uh, Hyunjin Rio. So that should be a good game. But all in all, was in short and sweet performance, the Yankees have evened up their record to five and five, uh, but the Blue Jays I think are four and six or six and four, um, one or the other. But they've got two more games against the Blue Jays in Dunedin, Florida, and then they come back to the Bronx to play the Tampa Bay Rays. So that's the recap tonight for the Yankees. Short and sweet. You know, it was nothing much happened. It was pretty much Cole, all Higgy, <laughs> and. Uh, and good, another good perform, uh, performance by the bullpen, who's been steady and they've been consistent. And, uh, you know, that's why the Yankees loaded up in, in the bullpen, particularly with Wilson and O'Day to compliment Britton and Chapman and all these other guys. Chad Green, Lo Isaacs, Sessa, uh, Licky. I mean, it's still a legit bullpen. So hopefully, you know, uh, Tyone and Kluber keep improving. And hopefully Herman, you know, kind of gets things together and at, out in the uh, down the alternate site, and uh, you know, hopefully he comes back strong. And if not, hopefully Davey Garcia gets an opportunity. And but I, I think they'll they'll start their starting pitching will be okay. And if they need to make a move later on in the season, I think they probably will. And uh, you know, they'll get somebody to help give them the needed depth or stabilization that the, the rotation needs. So I'm confident to that. And uh, so that's that's the game today. Again. Three to one, Yankees win over the Blue Jays, and I'm really looking forward to the next two games. Hopefully, they'll take two out of three or three out of three this series because the Blue Jays took two out of three in the home opener back in the Bronx. So, um, you know, thanks so much for watching. If you want to see more of this and you haven't subscribed yet, please do. So, hit that notification so you know when my recaps come out and a bunch of other videos too. Talk to you tomorrow.